Robert Scales. Let the master set you free. Let the master bring his peace to you. He ain't asking you to make up this thing. He's asking you to trust him so he can show you how. If you're going to walk in what I do, you have got to make this the foundation. How? Welcome again to Jesus is the Answer Ministries broadcast. I'm Pastor Robert Scales. Ooh, what last week? Delicious. I tell you, you need to tell your friends. I tell you, this week is going to absolutely be delicious. And so get, get, your, get your spiritual ears in tune. And uh, let's get in the word of God. Feed up on God's word and get blessed. I've been teaching on speaking the truth in love or speaking the word in love. And so uh, let's go back to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. Um, and Jesus gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. He to build up the body till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. One thing about the knowledge of the Son of God is, is Jesus gives knowledge uh, of, of enabling you to live without error. And the Lord, the Lord has the knowledge of living without error. Jesus does. And so when you get the knowledge of the Son of God, you're not getting no knowledge to fail. You're not getting knowledge that comes short. See, you're getting the knowledge of the Son of God. And, you know, it's, it's terrible when we keep hearing about ourselves without the knowledge of the Son of God. Jesus don't tell you you're going to sin tomorrow. Jesus don't tell He tells you, look, the, look, children, these things I write unto you that you see and not. But if you do, you have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the righteous, 1 John 2, 1. But, but nowhere in Jesus' teachings do he teach you to have you're going to mess up conscience. He teaches if you follow him, you ain't going to walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Jesus always teaches go and sin no more because he, he brings power. I remember uh, back in 1988, I was in uh, Narcotics Anonymous and I went there for uh, over three and a half years. And uh, one of the things I tell you that, that they, they don't know that's error. And most people in the world believe this, is that you always got to be an addict. Well, if you, you know, I always saw firemen put out fires, plumbers fix plumbing, electricians fix electrical work. But did you know alcoholic drink? A crack addict smokes crack. A murderer murders. A thief steals. So, you know, if you if you're gonna steal, be an addict. Oh, I'm always gonna be an addict. I ain't been no addict. It, it's in June 30, 1988. I went back. Now see why Jesus set me free. Jesus told me to go tell people that He had set me free and that I. And I, I would never use no more rest. And that's what I put on. I'll never use the rest of my life. I believed in it. And I won't. And, and so, because he enables me through his knowledge, he enables me not to have error in that. And saints, let me help some of y'all out there listening. The errors that I, uh, as, I, as I've been growing in the Lord, struggling with, I didn't have knowledge yet. And it made me have to seek him. But when I got the knowledge in those areas, they, they left too. Failure left, shortcoming left. Amen. And so we, 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 we've got to see that the fivefold ministry is supposed to perfect people to do the work of the ministry and, and, and to come to the knowledge of the Son of God, not the knowledge of us, but the knowledge of the Son of God 
and and unto a perfect man, a, a man who a woman who is truly obedient to what Jesus said. And 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 um and unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Here it is. So much deception out there. I'm going to teach on that this week. But speaking the truth in love. One, one translation of Greek I studied on this is to be real, not counterfeit. Answering to the truth, get this now, to make it one's study. See? And, and this is how I sought the Lord <laughs> uh, back in, 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 in July of 1988. Uh, I gave my heart and my life to Jesus uh, to serve him and follow him, June 30th, 1988. And I, I began to seek the Lord uh, 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 and, and make truth my study and seek the Lord every day to teach me truth. Three things, three things that I sought the Lord on. And I, I pray you all do. Most people, when they hear me teach or preach, you usually got to start over because you got so much junk in there that the Lord didn't really teach you. And you need to build your house on the foundation of coming to Jesus, hearing his teachings, hearing his sayings, hearing his commandments, and doing them. And, and you don't have another life. You've laid your life down. And so uh, these three things I prayed for over two years, every day for two hours a day, just over and over. Number one, Lord, teach me how to pray. Number two, teach me how to trust you. Number three, teach me truth uh, where Satan can't take me back. Uh, you know, that was in my heart not to go back to the world. And after two years, I never prayed them no more. But Jesus had taught me. And so, so see, you, you come to the knowledge of the Son of God, <laughs> how to live the life Jesus lived. Oh, that's big. That's big. No, no, no. No, not you trying to do better in life. No. Live the life Jesus Christ lived. Well, well Pastor Gary, Jesus was perfect. How am I going to live the life he lived? By faith, he going to show you, first of all, you got to see from the scriptures that it could be done because Jesus did it as a man. And then you got to let Jesus show you how to do it Step by step. Hallelujah. Oh, that's good news. Ain't that wonderful? To have somebody like Jesus Christ, uh, the, the word made flesh, living on the inside of you. Oh, that's good news. And so a lot of times people are not, not coming to the knowledge of the Son of God. They come to the knowledge of Moses and thank God for Moses and thank God for the scriptures. And thank God for the Old Testament. It wrote all scripture was inspired by God. And, and, and it's, it's, it's given to us, but, but I'm telling you, say, it, it, it's, it's a lot of the Old Testament. It's given for you to know, given for you to learn. And it, it, it's, it's my love, the Old Testament. But it ain't the knowledge of the way Jesus lived and the commandments Jesus gave. They not in the Old Testament. And, and a man ruling the devil ain't in the Old Testament that Jesus gave. Nobody ruled the devil, but God. God had come down with the devil, rebuked the devil for their sake. But in Jesus, he's been defeated on every side. Yeah. I mean, the devil's been whooped beyond measure. If people don't know it, and people don't walk in the light of keeping him, Satan, under their feet. How do you do that? You speak the truth. They look, you speak the words and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so that we hence will be no more children, tossed to and fro, cared about everywhere in the doctrine, by the slate of men, cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And, and listen to this. But speaking the truth in love. Now here it is. Growing up in the Jesus. See, you, this, listen, this is revelation. you never growing. If you ain't speaking the words that come from Jesus' lips in his love, 
speak them in the nature that Jesus came down here with from heaven. John 15, 9, Jesus said, as the Father loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Did you get that? Uh, uh, Jesus said, as the Father loved me. Look what his life was based on. Not, not him trying to love the Father. He did love the Father. But it was based on the Father loved him. And he came out of that love and loved you and me. As the Father, Jesus said, John 15, 9, as the Father loved me, so have I loved you. Then he gave us command, continue ye in my love. Now you think about that for a minute. Let's think about that for a minute. Jesus telling you to continue in something that's perfect? He ain't telling us to continue in our love. He's not telling us to, to, to try to have a better life. Think good about yourself. He's telling you if you live in his love, you will think good. You'll think on things pure and honest and just and lovely and a good report if you will continue in Jesus' love because ain't nothing else in that but good. Are y'all listening? And so speaking the truth in love, and this is what happens to you. get to see a lot of church folks. Good people. But what happen is, what happen is this. They always live in struggle. Always something wrong. Always. And, and, and I deal with stuff all the time too. But I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's different when, when you deal with stuff and stuff deal with you. It's a big difference. And so when you deal with stuff, you're speaking what Jesus said, and 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 when when stuff deal with you, you're speaking how it's doing you. It's a big difference. So speaking the truth in love, I, 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 in John 17, 17, Jesus said, "Thy Father sanctify them through Thy Word. Thy Word is truth." Uh, and and so when you speak the truth, you're really speaking the Word. And then Jesus told, I, I, I taught this last week, if you continue in my word, you will be my disciple indeed. And you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. So, so did you hear what Jesus said? If you, John 8, 31, if you continue in my word, if you abide in my word, amplify, said, hold fast to my teachings and live in accordance with them. Jesus said, you will know the truth. You will know the word that come from his lips. And those words will make you free. Now, he never taught us learning to make you free. You, 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 listen, the only truth any of us have is the part we done heard Jesus say and went and done it. Spoke it and done it. And Jesus said, that, told God that thy word is true. So you're going to speak the word in love. And then Jesus said in John 18, 37, he told Pilate, you say that I'm a king. To this end was I born. For this cause came I into the world. Did you know this is one of the causes Jesus came into the world? That I may, be, I may bear witness to the truth. Listen to these profound words in, in John 18, 37. He that is of the truth heareth my voice. See, that's astounding that you can talk about the Bible and still not be in Jesus' voice. But he said, everyone that heareth my voice is of the truth. Wow. Wow. That, that's pretty powerful. Now, let, let, let me go a little further. Uh, uh, in, in, uh, let me go back over one of these stories. Uh, in, in John chapter 8, uh, verse 5, I want to go there and, and I want to show you all um, how Jesus operated on earth. Um, they, they said in him, verse 4, the Pharisees came in verse 3 and bought a woman taken in adultery when they had set her in the midst. Now she's taken in adultery. I mean, 
They said they had witnesses saw it in the act. They said unto him, Master, this one was taken in adultery in the very act. Now, Moses in the law commanded us that, that such should be stoned. What say about? Now listen to me now. Jesus said, they told Jesus what Moses commanded. Did Moses command that? Yes. Yes, he did. Why? Wasn't no love there. Wasn't no Jesus there. See, God can give you his law and not manifest his love. Are you listening? And so you have to you have to distinguish now what, what the Ten Commandments and the love that was in Christ. In Jesus, saints, we're not under the Ten Commandments. We're not under none of the law and prophets, but through living Jesus' commandment, the new commandment, John 13, 34, a new commandment I give you that you love one another as I love you. By this shall all men know you are my disciples if you have loved one for another. John 15, verse 12, this is my commandment that you love one another even as I have loved you. When you live the new commandment, you fulfill the Ten Commandments. There's no way you can love what the way Jesus loved us was to forgive us of everything we did wrong. That nature of God that was manifested in Jesus also uh, has inside of it all the laws of God. Matter of fact, they, they, they do more than that. Jesus came and, and told the Pharisees that if a man look on a woman, he committed adultery in his heart. If he look upon her wrong and lusts is after her. And so, see, the, the love of God goes further. It breaks them laws down where it deals with what's in your heart that other people can't see, but the Lord see. So that's why that when you keep the new commandment, you don't want to go to bed with somebody else's wife. You don't want to steal from nobody if you love like Jesus. You ain't gonna allow nobody if you love like Jesus. You ain't gonna ain't no way in the world you can have another God before him and you know that God done shed abroad his love in your heart by the Holy Ghost and then washed you, took your sins away and gave you eternal life and gave you a new life. You can't have another God and you done had that experience of the new birth. It ain't no way in the world you're gonna covet and won't steal, won't serve your brother God when you got the love of God in you and God love you just as much where you can ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. See, and, and so what, what people did, they law banded people. And then one group in grace <laughs> say, you throw the Ten Commandments away. You can't throw the Ten Commandments away. They're, they're, they're given for, for lawless people. And 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 if, if we would teach people to live in this love on the cross every day. Listen, listen, now, listen to Revelation. We would produce Jesus on earth. Why? He said, this is my commandment that you love one another even as I have loved you. That is producing Jesus on this earth. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Son. You are going to fulfill. Let me tell you. You say, well, what about the Sabbath? Listen, I believe in the Sabbath. The Sabbath is scripture. The Holy Spirit will always lead you to a day off, a day of rest. Whether it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, God said the Sabbath. No, he said that to the Jews. Now, he ain't saying that no way in the New Testament. But I know if you got the Holy Spirit and you're following Jesus' love, you will rest that body. You're not, you're not, you're not going to work the end day. You got to have a day off to, 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 to really focus on church and on the Lord. Amen. And so, so you, you will fulfill the laws. Now, 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 now. So they brought that law to Jesus and tempted him. And they said, uh, uh, this tempting Jesus that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down with his fame and rolled on the ground as though he hurt them not. And when they continued asking him, what about law, uh, Moses' law, Jesus? He lift up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at him. See, when you lay it by the Spirit, you're not under the law. The laws will condemn you. They will know to get this and they, they will lock you up when you do wrong. 
because ain't no goodness of God in the laws. It's just don't do this, do this, don't do this, do this. But in Jesus, it's the nature and the spirit of God. And they they will lead you not to break God's laws. I'm telling you, you'll get convicted. And so um, Jesus said, he that is wild sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. You can, you can see Jesus in where this woman, whenever I, I help people, I've been going into prison since 1990. When, when, when I help people, the first thing I want to do is get all that condemnation away from them, all that guilt away from them, and tell them who Jesus is and what Jesus did for them. And you want to, you want to help people get all by themselves so they can hear Jesus say, you are free. I have made you not guilty. I have took your sins away and remember them no more. And, 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 and then, then preachers preach that and then say, well, when you sin, you don't have to repent. Well, really, you, do. you always got to turn. You Listen, you cannot stay in unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, wrath, clamity. You can't stay in the works of the flesh and stay in living the love of God. You have to turn. You have to repent. And thank God Jesus is faithful and just. Always remember this. When you repent, it's a turning to go back to receive what you first got when you first got born again, that Jesus took all your sins away. Now, when you confess a sin, you go back to receive forgiveness of that, of what Jesus already done did, so you can walk in it. That's amen. And so what 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 they, they teach this is all this false doctrine, false teaching is trying to tell you you don't have to do it no more. But but who are you when the scripture tell you to confess your sin? Who are you to tell me not to do that? Who who made you above the word? Whoa, you know that's error. I've got some deep. No, you gotta stay with the word. Quit being deceived by these crafty preachers and people and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. And so Jesus, and they stooped down and wrote on the ground, they which heard to being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning at the elders, even unto the last, and Jesus was left alone and, and the woman standing in the midst. And when Jesus lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, See, that's what Jesus wants to see you. Well, he, he, he don't got to wake everybody so he can talk to you. Jesus said, what? Well, where are your accusers? These, these, these people are accusers. Remember saying, listen, a lot, a lot of Christians don't even know these truths. But in the, in the world, they, 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 they'll they accuse people. Let me tell you, if Jesus was back on earth, and he is in me, he would go to them and call all them accusers. Then he would go to the person and say, who's guilty, and say, you without, you, he tell all the accusers, y'all without sin, y'all gonna stone this person, what he did to you. Then he would tell the person who's guilty, listen, I don't condemn you, now go and sin no more. Yeah, he would. And so Jesus said, uh, uh, no man, Lord, she said, and he, Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Listen to this, go and sin no more. Now, now, now. How is that woman going to stay free? How is she going to go and sin no more? Here's how she's going to do it. Here comes dude she ain't seen in months. Dude got money and got paid Friday. Said, girl, I've been missing you. Where you been at? Where you been at? Now here's how she's going to go and sin now. She's going to have to tell that man what Jesus said. She's going to speak the truth. To speak the word that came from Jesus' lips in love. Now, here's what she got to tell that man. She said, Jesus said for me to go and sin no more. He set me free. I don't live like that no more. Now, you go on. Now, watch this. Watch this here. The devil and the man heard Jesus' word. That's how you stay free. You let them devils and you let your temptation, they got to hear Jesus. When they hear Jesus being spoke from your lips, Listen, it is just as if the master is saying it himself. Oh, 
See, when the sun really does set you free, the temptation and the devil and darkness is hearing what the Lord have done for you. And it cannot withstand our Lord. He, he died once and for all. He defeated death, the grave, darkness, evil. Why? He rose up out of it. And he's able to raise us up too. Amen. Amen. So, so we'll pick this back up tomorrow. I want to make available to you this six CD series. Speak the word in love. On the screen is our address uh, for love gift of $30 or more. Also, if you order these, I'll send you a free copy of the Believer's Guide to Christ. I tell you, um, th th this book, we, we put thousands and thousands and thousands of them into prisons. And they are absolutely blessed men's life. Never, never really heard the truth about Jesus. And it's just really blessing them. And so uh, make your checks and money orders to Jesus and some ministries. Post office box uh, 292112 Nashville, Tennessee 37229 Also, you can go to robertscalesministry.org and, and go online. You can use your credit card. You can order these. I will get them out very quick to you. Uh, and also we'll make sure you get a free copy of, a, of our new book. And I tell you, these will bless you. They're anointed. Spirit of God's own. Speak the word in love. Also, I want to invite you all to Jesus. It says a church, a church that's alive, it's worth the drive. You know, God told me, and, and I'm not everybody. I don't invite everybody. Uh, and and, and uh, you, you, you know, you can get mad at that if you want to, but man, you get mad at me doing what Jesus said. Listen, I'm after the lost. I'm after those that are bound, addicted, or hurting. That's two. Anything in that. You're addicted to any kind of uh, drug, alcohol, pills, anything. Any kind of sex, any kind of addiction. And, and, and you've been hurt. And the third thing is I'm after the hungry. People who want to be taught the truth. And El says in coming, you, you know, when you got truth, man, El says people come arguing and fussing with you uh, about stuff. Amen. And so um, come and uh, I tell you, you, you'll be blessed on the screen. You see our address, call our number, uh, go online, get our directions. And I want to also uh, thank my friends and partners. Thank you uh, for helping me. Uh, Saints, uh, write me. Let me know how much the broadcast has been a blessing to you. And uh, we're on uh, David. And I tell you, it would be a tremendous blessing to me uh, if you would pray and, and uh, give us a love gift to help us continue to do God's will. I've been doing this will for years, and I thank you all for helping me to get this word out. Well, my prayer for you is that you will know the love of Christ that passes knowledge and be filled with all the fullness of God from Jesus and some ministries. I'm Pastor Robert Scales. Remember the new commandment as he loved you on the cross. Go live that love. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.